guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my interpretation of the logo from Bird Box. It wasn't necessarily the logo. It was like a version of it. It was some artwork, I'll put it up on the screen here. So yeah, this was my interpretation of it. You kind of have to zoom in to really see a lot of it because it was kind of some tiny details that you can't really see. Um, to the trees, a lot of debris over here and then they were on the boat in the center. And then I had some tree roots down here. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this look in this video, um, 2019. It is a new year, lots more videos to come for the new year. And if you wanna know how I created this look, then keep on watching. We're gonna start. It's been a minute since I've filmed a video. <coughs> um, also, I am a little sick, so my voice is a little funny. Yeah, I sound a little raspy, but maybe it's cute. <laughs> maybe I'll keep it. I didn't realize how crappy I sounded until I started filming. We're starting fresh for the new year. If you can tell, we have something different. Um, we have paper backgrounds. <laughs> and we also have a backlight, so. She's right there, but she's behind me, so you can't see her. And she shines up bright, and then around me is kind of like a vignette, but in the video. I know I'm a little crusty. Before you mention it, we're gonna fix it. <laughs> For some reason, my face makeup came out really crusty today. I think it's the moisturizer that I use. So yeah, I took a little bit of a break for the holidays. <coughs> because um, I wanted to spend some time with my family and um, I needed a little bit of a break. And now I can start the new year fresh. So I think I only took like a two or three week break, which isn't not normal for me. A lot of times I just get stressed and don't even give you guys a warning that I'm taking a break. But now I'm back. So it is 2019. If you have any New Year's resolutions, let me know in the comments below. I don't. I made some goals for 2018. Some of them I hit, some of them I didn't. This year I am hoping to get monetized. That's a big goal for me. I'm hoping to get monetized in 2019. Other than makeup wise, I want to start acting again because I haven't done that in a long time before I stopped doing it in high school because I thought I was too cool for it. Today, we are doing a look for Bird Box, the Netflix movie. I didn't watch it yet, but I'm really excited too because I really liked A Quiet Place. That was one of the only scary movies that I was like, wow, that's super cool. It's already two o'clock, so let's get going. We're gonna get into it. I think this trend also started from Abby Roberts on Instagram. I've seen a lot of people do it since then. So I'm gonna have a blindfold on, but the one that everyone's doing is kind of lifting up and having one eye. I think that's cool because I wanna do like the eye that is in the movie. I wanted to have that like bloody looking bruised eye underneath the blindfold. And I thought this would be cool for me to do as well because I have my Netflix inspired makeup look series. And this is a Netflix movie, even though it's not a show, it's a movie. I already have my base on. I think I'm gonna have this eye covered and then this one open. So I'm gonna do the eyes first. Let's get out the James Charles palette does have some good beet reds that I wanna use. So I'm gonna start out with this beet red shade. I think I'm just gonna put it in the areas that a black eye would bruise the most. Cause I feel like I'm just kind of going to make more of the effect of a black eye, but really make it red and more demonic possessive <coughs> kind of thing. So it would really bruise out here. I know black eyes bruise here in the tear duct. I'm gonna get a little bit of a smaller brush, look up, and it bruises a lot under your eye. And then once we get that all blended out, we're gonna start putting in some purple in there. And definitely on your outer corner, try and match that up with the outer V. I think even to just deepen up the red, this shade would go good. And just kind of put that in the deepest spot. Take a pencil brush for the bottom lash line and just really get close. Even maybe touch the inside of your waterline. If you make your waterline red, it makes you look super sick. Not as in sick like cool, like sick, you look sick. <laughs> So for the waterline, go back in with that hot red. If you use powder on your waterline, I learned that it sticks really well. A little bit around your brow bone. That probably will be covered by the blindfold anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Bruises pool around the bone, so it wouldn't actually be red on the actual bone. So if you make kind of like, I learned this from Mikey, Glam and Gore, but you would kind of make a circle around your brow bone because the blood would pool around it and that's what really makes it red. There's already black on this brush. <laughs> that's one of my favorite effects to do with bruises is um, doing it around the brow bone and your cheekbone. I think that's good. You know what though? The red is kind of like falling down their eye. 
Oh, if you're trying to do something that's like SFX but you want a beginner, start with bruises. You can do them so easy. That's good for the eyes. I'm gonna pop on a lash after. I've been sitting here trying to figure out how to start, but I just need to start. I'm going to take a pastel blue and start bringing that down my body. And this is gonna be the river. I kind of forgot how to paint. I feel like it's been a long time. Now I'm gonna take this blue and I'm going to try and blend this all together. Looks like I'm crying. Hmm, now we need to do details. I guess maybe to start, I'm gonna open up the James Charles palette. I'm gonna take the, a blue, the darkest blue in there that's not shimmery, and I'm just gonna shade the side over here. I'm just gonna make it wider on the side that I haven't colored yet, like over here. So for detail work, I'm gonna dip into that blue shade. There's a lot of just like lines on this side. So that's what I'm gonna do probably for a while. Going in with a black shade and I'm gonna, just gonna really deepen it side over here. Okay, this is what I have for the river. Um, now I'm going to draw the canoe. This is going to be hard. I might not talk during it because I'm going to be so concentrated. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Okay, let's start. I'm scared. I don't even know where to start. It's gonna have to be white and then shade it after. Okay, I'm bringing you down here for a second because I need to look into the mirror to get super close, but these are what I did so far. I'm gonna show you the last one. They look super cool. Okay, let's bring this back up. You know what I didn't realize? The heater's been on the whole time. That's annoying. Probably should shut it off. Heater is off. Now we're going to work on the trees. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. I have this tiny fan brush that I got with my kit from school and it's for masks. So I think this would work really well to do some trees. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start making some trees in the background. Wow, that made a good tree. You can take the black and draw some little birdies. I'm taking some white paint and dotting a little bit in the trees. Maybe it would help if I dotted in the water. Maybe that would help to make it look a little bit more realistic. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what I want to start doing on this side. Going down her chin, there's like a really cool root of a tree. And I really want to do something with that. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to figure out how to make this look more tree branchy. I feel like to really make this pop, I'm gonna have to paint my whole chest black, which is what she has in the picture anyways. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to be right back. I'm just doing it with a sponge like that. And then maybe to get in between the cracks, I'm gonna go in with like a brush, but I'll be right back and my chest will be black. <coughs> okay, I have my roots done and also my chest is black. I don't know how much of this is gonna be shown, probably only to here. I'm not gonna go much further down, but I painted there anyways. What do I wanna do next? I think this is gonna come in handy, this brush, because you can do a lot with it. I really need to do an edge for this. There's just a ton of like debris and sticks and branches. So I'm trying to do that. I am just making it dark over here because I'm trying to figure out how to start making this debris everywhere. They're just such tiny details. It's hard to figure out where to start. I think I'm figuring it out. We're, we're figuring it out together. Now I'm just 
finishing up more trees on this side. I did a lot of just kind of like sticks and lines and white marks everywhere. Um, nothing at all specific. It kind of was just everywhere. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm done with the face. I'm trying to make sure that it's not like too messy, if you know what I mean. I think I want to take the picture kind of just like here. I don't really want to go much lower. I think I might highlight the water again just because I did so much shading. I kind of lost a little bit of the highlight on the water. So I'm going to go back in over here and just do some lines with a light blue. Okay, and I put on a lash. And I think that this is the finished look. Lots of more smaller detail than normal. Normally, I kind of try to do big details to kind of fill everything. But I think this was cool, keeping it small and more detailed. Um, I need to move this black mark because that's stupid. I don't know why it's there. I think that this is the finished look. This is how it came out. Uh, I'm going to zoom in to show you a little bit more of the details. <laughs> Cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this look, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions of things that you want me to do in 2019, leave it in the comment section below. It's a whole new year. We have a bunch of new videos ideas that you guys can give me because I don't have a ton of video ideas, but you guys can give me some. Yay! I appreciate you guys so much, especially for supporting me all throughout 2018 and hopefully all throughout 2019. If you want to just chit chat with me, you can go down there. I answer back to everyone's comments. I love you guys and I will check you in the next video. Bye!